remove the wheel. I'm gonna use a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the last one out. I'm just gonna hold the wheel from falling. And grab the wheel, take it off. Take some needle nose pliers. You wanna grab the sensor on both sides and slide it out. Slide out like that. You can take it off the bleeder screw right here. Just a little rubber cover. Take that off, slide that out. Using a 13 millimeter socket, take the two caliper bolts off. If you have to, you can use some pliers if the, the slide pins are spinning. Grab the caliper and just rock it back and forth a little bit. Make sure the parking brake is not applied. You can use a pry bar if you have to. Just pry it out. And using a caliper hanger, hang the caliper so that there's no tension on the brake hose. Now take the brake pads off. If you have to, you can pry those off with a pry bar. Slide those. Now behind here, there's two bolts that hold the caliper bracket on. We're gonna take those off using a 16 millimeter socket. And slide the bracket off. There should be a bolt holding this rotor on. You wanna use a T30 socket, take that bolt out. This vehicle doesn't have that. I just put a lug bolt in here to prevent this from falling and slide it off. Now, before you put the rotor on, you wanna take a wire brush and just clean up any corrosion on here or any rust. Just do the best you can. Now we're going to clean up the bracket, just use a pocket screwdriver, just get underneath the clips, take those off, use a wire brush, just clean up any corrosion or rust, take some brake caliper grease, just give a thin coat, put the new pad clips on. And just another thin coat of grease. Right there and right there. And do the same on the other side. Now we're gonna pull out the caliper slide pins. Just slide those off. Take a little brake parts cleaner. And wash these off. And just add a little brake caliper grease. Put the pin back in. Make sure it seals completely around the boot. Do the same on the other side. If there was a lot of corrosion on here, you wanna spray some brake parts cleaner in there and use a wire brush to clean that out as well. Now you can install it on the vehicle. Take the rotor, use a little brake parts cleaner and use a rag and wipe it down. Flip the rotor around, do the same on this side. Take a thin coat of anti-seize and just put it on the hub surface. Now take the rotor, line that hole up with the threaded hole on the hub. And if you have that bolt, you wanna put that bolt back in at this time. I'm just gonna put the lug bolt in at least one to hold the rotor on. Now slide the bracket on over the rotor. And get the bolt started. And we're gonna to torque those to 48 foot-pounds.
how to take the brake pads. There's one that has a little bump on the bottom and it's raised up on the top. That goes on the inside. Just like that. And then the other one goes on the outside. Now we're gonna compress the caliper. You need a special caliper compressing tool that's gonna turn the piston as it compresses it. Get that lined up. And as I tighten it, it turns the caliper in, turns the piston in. You can take the caliper off the hanger and slide it over the brake pads. Put the bolts in. torque these bolts to 26 foot-pounds. Now slide this behind the bleeder screw and push that plug back down. You want to line this up so this is facing the rotor, that little bump right there. You can use some needle nose pliers to help you out. Line that up. And push it in place. If you need to, you can use a screwdriver and push it down. That's all the way down. Now put the wheel on. And the lug bolts, get those started. Now we're gonna to torque the lug bolts to 110 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. Now you wanna pump the brake pedal nice and slow. There'll be an air gap in between the brake pads and the brake rotor. That's good. And you want to double check the brake fluid level and adjust accordingly.